there's many unknowns and uh, pretty much the only thing we know for sure is that this is not some kind of um, earthquake induced uh, damage that is uh, it's, it's the result of an attack and many experts uh, should think it's Russia but there's like not a lot of uh, evidence uh, and it's probably too early to say much uh, sensible about that uh, in terms of will this actually hurt uh, Europe's energy supply well yes um, you know this is uh, even more Russian gas that is not being delivered uh, on top of that Russia has also um, uh, almost completely ended uh, all the rest of its uh, gas deliveries uh, through Ukraine uh, mostly, so I think it's only um, Hungary and maybe Greece to a degree that still receives some Russian uh, gas. Uh, so um, can Europe survive without the Russian gas? Yes, of course, but at a high price, at a high price for its uh, manufacturing industry. Uh, you know, everything can be overcome, of course, uh, but then now European countries will need to uh, take um, very important decisions, for example, to invest back into European fossil fuels uh, something that they have been uh, building uh, down and uh, phasing out. And as a result, Europe has had to import lots of fossil fuels from places like Russia, but also uh, Qatar, uh, Algeria and other places.